Hi guys, so in the last video we covered passing a ticket to um, a teammate and in this video we're going to talk about a couple other things that you can do with your intercom tickets once they're created. So the first thing that you can do with your intercom ticket is you can snooze it. So I'm going to snooze this conversation. I'm going to make it custom. I'm going to snooze it until Thursday and I'm going to press snooze. That's all there is to it. It's not going to appear over here and it's less cluttery. Now I can also get that back. I go to snooze and I'm going to reopen it. Okay. Let's reopen this. And there you go. You reopen this conversation. And now I see I have open, snoozed, and closed. Let's see. Now I can write a note over here. Okay. Work on our report for this client, for example. And this is only going to be seen by the support agents, anything you write as a note. So that's something important to think about. It's only going to be seen by the support agents. Um, let's see what else we have. I can create reports. Let's see, rules. Rules is how the tickets get handled and passed. I can mention someone else. So if I go to add at Aleph, who am I logged in as currently? I'm logged in as Alicia? No, that's me. At Alicia. Let's see. At Alicia. Take. Okay. Please take care of this. And I'm going to do add note. And I go back to the other profile of Alicia here. As you can see, I'm logged in as Alicia. And it says I have one mention here. I go here. And it will say. At Alicia, please take care of this. And that's how you tag other people from your team. This is how you set this ticket to different different teammates. We've talked about the snooze already. Uh, what else is there to cover here? We've talked about the smart campaigns also. And of course, you can close the ticket. And that's what you do once you're, you verify that there's nothing else that needs to be done. It says you close this conversation now. I go back into you. Let's see if I have something. I do have something here. I want to close that as well because I'm tired of this. But now the beautiful thing is that no matter where I am, it's pretty much like having a shared mailbox pretty much because I can do a regular search for all the messages, right? So if I'm interested in all the messages that have, are involved with the client that has the email CIF giving, that's not going to work. So but what if I write Aleph? Anybody that has the word Aleph in it? No, Alicia. Sometimes you have to play with that a little bit. There you go. There's something. There's a, a, a ticket that has the word Alicia in it and a, a ticket that had YouTube in it. I don't know. I forgot exactly when, but uh, that was a personal message. Okay. So that pretty much covers that. Uh, I'm trying to think what else we need to cover. Let's see. I have it written over here. Adding teammates, passing a ticket to a teammate that we've seen. We can add teammates. Oh, we turn off notifications. I just want to cover that. That's going to be one of our last things that we cover in this tutorial series. I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go to notification preferences. As you can see, I turned off all my notifications so that I don't get stuff to the email because you want to pretty much train your, your customers to try to contact you through Intercom itself, maybe through a help email. And there's another way to configure that, maybe that. Maybe that will be covered, maybe not. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much intercom. Uh, I think that the real strength of it is in its inbox settings. Oh, sorry, it's, in, it's also in the inbox, but also in the, in the auto message. And that's covered early on the tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, this uh, tutorial on intercom. And please keep me posted whether you have any questions. I'd love to get people's feedback on whether they found it helpful. Feel free to give a like to the page also and check out our other tutorial series connected with this project. It's called the Modern Day CMS Project. And uh, it also has other, other series on Metabase and deploying to Heroku. That's what we're going to do with this specific app. So thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.